In this graph of script, you can convert two set of curves into a truss. Uh, as you can see, by changing the control points of the curve, we can produce different results. We can switch between two types and we can also change the division. We can get different parametric trusses. Uh, the output is the curve one. As you can see in this example file is the bottom. The next one is the vertical lines, the web lines, and also the second curve divided lines. You can also extract the points of the truss uh, if you want to use it in your project. You can simply download it from this link or the link in the description. Okay, now let's take a look at the algorithm and how we can make this parametric truss. As you can see, this is the first curve we have inside the algorithm. Uh, first, we're going to divide this curve into a series of points. You can find it from curve uh, division, here the divide curve tool. Uh, if we give the curve to this and give a number slider to the count, as you can see here, I can change the number of the divisions. I'm going to get these points out. Uh, after we have these points, uh, what we want to do here is to also divide the second curve uh, here into a number of points. And because we want to have the same divisions, the number slider is going to go to the both of them. Okay. Uh, if we want to connect these lines like uh, vertical lines, we just have to connect a line component, as you can see here, uh, which you can find from the curve. Uh, primitive line and uh, you just have to give the starting point this point division point and the end point is going to be the second division point uh, that is going to be the uh, first output as you can see here this is going to be the divisions uh, the next one we want to produce is the division at the bottom or the top uh, it's really simple you just have to uh, use this points to connect it to a, a curve and a polyline here and that is going to produce a polyline if I bake this if I go to the shaded mode you can see that we have converted the curve uh, into a polyline if I bring it a little bit forward uh, you can see the polyline uh, now we just have to explode that so now let's just go and explode this by using the curve uh, utility explode component and it's going to give you all the segments as you can see here we have seven segments we can put that into a curve component from the uh, params menu curve and we can have that as an output uh, obviously the bottom is going to also be the same we just have to connect those points to a polyline explode it and we have the top parts also as an output uh, for the points, uh, we just have to put both of these two groups of points, this one and this one, into one point container uh, from the params menu point. Uh, remember that you have to use the shift key when you want to connect two outputs to one. And that is going to be the point outputs if we want to have that as an output to use, in our, use it in our project. Uh, okay, the most important thing is how can we uh, design the webs. As you can see here, I can change between two sets of webs. Uh, it's really easy. What we have to do here is to assume that we are working with this series of points. Uh, I'm going to use the set list dispatch component here. Here. And when we give the points to the list input, the default dispatch pattern is true uh, and false. So what's going to happen is that it's going to say uh, true, false, true, false till the end. And it's going to put all the trues inside one group and all the falses inside the B group. Uh, that is going to be the first, uh, if we select the first connection, let me explain it here. Okay, so that is going to be the group true and false. Uh, next, we're going to work with the top points. So you just have to connect the points again to a dispatch. And let me show you with the point container. This is going to be list A, as you can hear, see here, and this is going to be list B. Okay, that is also going to happen for the bottom, uh, for the top points, sorry. Uh, this is going to be list A, and this is going to be list B. Okay, so what we want to do here is to uh, let me just highlight this list A and list B. Uh, you can see that we have to weave between these two set of points. Uh, we want to make a polyline. We want to say uh, connect this point to the second set of points 
and then go back to the first one and uh, till the end. So what you have to do here is to use the set list weave command. You can see it here. And you just have to give the list A to stream zero, list B to stream one, which is still like this. And here we have a pattern. So the weaving pattern by default is zero one. If you zoom in, you can add also other streams here. But we don't need that. And by the default, it's zero one. So it's going to weave those points together and give it out. And after we have produced a weave, we can give it to a polyline. It's going to connect it together. You can also see the points by going to a, a display and connect a point list to here and bake it. So you can see that it's starting from here. Zero, one, two, three. Let's go to the shaded mode. Zero, one, two, three, four till the end. Okay. That is going to also show you the point list. Let's just go back to the rendered mode. Uh, now we have to explode it if we want the segments because if I bake this polyline, you can see it's just like a polyline. Uh, we explode it to the segments, so it's like seven segments. Uh, again, we're going to uh, make another pattern which is going to be the opposite of this. And if you look at this, you can see that this was the first pattern we made. But what if we wanted to, to start from the bottom? So it's just going to be the same list A and list B. And instead of A, B, we're going to use B, A and weave it, polyline, explode it. And now we have two sets of outputs. If I just turn this off, uh, you can see that the explode at the top is going to be this pattern and the explode at the bottom is going to be this pattern. So how can we choose between this? Again, we're going to use a weave. Uh, we're going to give these segments to stream zero, this one to stream one. And then we can just give a number slider because we don't want to use a pattern of weaving between these streams. Uh, we just say uh, we need zero or one, right? If I just zoom in here, it's going to just make it zero, one. And if we give a number slider, it's going to switch between uh, the output. So if I just turn this on, you can see that we can switch between this output and then we can give it as uh, output as a curve and we will have all of the outputs uh, here. Uh, I hope this example file is useful and thanks for watching. Remember to like this video so it can reach more people. Uh, subscribe to our channel to get notified about new uh, tools we develop in Parametric House. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.